Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good day. It's coming up on a uh, quarter till five in the afternoon on this uh, Thursday. I'll, I'll start with the watch warning map uh, that the local National Weather Service office in Portland puts out. And the only thing we really have going on in our local area is right here in the kind of pink or salmon tones. And that is a winter storm warning for the Cascades. So this uh, technically started back at four o'clock and it will go. They have it posted now through 10 p.m. tomorrow evening. The big threat here, of course, is snow. Um, and it looks like if you figure what's falling now, what could fall through tomorrow, the Cascades um, at past elevation could be looking at 10 inches or a foot. And then you get up to five, 6,000 feet, maybe some amounts closer to 20 inches. So pretty good snowstorm. Notice no watches or warnings or advisories for the coast range. As it looks like, snow levels should continue to go up overnight. But I do have a concern, uh, a new concern for what could happen snow level wise behind the front. The front that we're tracking, by the way, was going to come in at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now the speed of that front has sped up, and it's going to be arriving maybe around 1 a.m. tonight, so shortly after midnight. And that change in timing will open up a window of potentially lower snow levels than what I was talking about, at least uh, early tomorrow morning. So more on that coming up in just a second. But obviously, FYI, difficult travel over the Cascade Passes tonight and tomorrow uh, for some heavy snow coming down. Let's go ahead and check out the imagery. Been a pretty, not completely steady, but a pretty steady rain afternoon, right? The radar right now showing pretty much everybody in our area is picking up a little bit of something, some heavier rain pockets in yellow. Here's the, the wider rain. You can see the, the this doesn't, uh, well, the rain, I'm trying to say, kind of covers up the map, which is a shame, but you can see the, the wide coverage of the precipitation coming in. And I like this kind of a, a visible slash infrared satellite picture, but you can see the curl of the low offshore and see where the, the cloudiness has some good, there's a little bit of shearing up top, but right in here you see some good definition, the ripples. Uh, that's a heavy rain band along the front that will be pushing inland quickly, as I mentioned, overnight and could come into the I-5 corridor around 1 a.m. If you look at this, you can, again, you can tell the, the nice rippling, some convection of the cold front, and then the clouds kind of shear or, or get kind of smoothed out. That's the upper winds kind of taking the tops of these clouds and, and shearing them out. So that tells you there's some wind uh, with this to some degree as well. So anyway, good looking satellite picture of, of what's going on with the storm system. So I, I want to show you what's going on at 1,400 feet on the coast range. This is a Sunset Highway 26. Notice snow in the air, it looks like. Snow roadside. And the temperature of 1,400 feet is just above freezing. Now, there's reason to believe this temperature will actually hold and go up in the coming hours, but here's the change. So snow levels are definitely going to get up to 2,000 feet, maybe even a little bit higher than that overnight. But then anywhere from like, I don't know, 4 a.m. in the morning to 5, 6, 7 a.m. in the morning tomorrow, there could be a period where snow levels come down for sticking snow close to 1,000 feet. That means if you're going to be traveling over the coast range tomorrow morning, please check the road conditions and you can do that on my coast page. I have all these cameras for you on my weather site, portlandweather.com. So let's leave the coast behind. Here's what my Mount Hood page looks like. It has all those travel cameras for the Cascades for you to check as well. So right now, 22 at Timberline, 30 at Meadows. They've picked up, I just updated these totals. So Timberline's picked up six inches of snow so far today. And of course it's going to snow all night. And the heaviest snow rates will be overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, I think. Uh, seven inches of meadows so far, ski bill three. So, you know, they're starting uh, uh, to pick up some decent snow. Here's government camp. It's 30 degrees, and, and that's just going to be snow covered, of course, obviously all day tomorrow, as will all of the other passes. In terms of snow, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Boom, there we go. No, that's not right either. I don't know why that's not updating. Anyway, Friday, 8 to 12 inches. This is, it's gotten kind of weird on me for some reason. But I am forecasting 8 to 12 inches of snow all total tomorrow. And they're going to get, you know, 6, 7 inches going into that. And then Saturday, it's sun and flurries. And then another 4 to 6 inches on Sunday. I don't know why that, that's being weird. Um, there are other pass cameras you can check down here. I mean, right now, uh, the Siskiyou Summit camera below the pass is looking pretty good on I-5. Willamette Pass looks bad. Uh, if you are traveling out over Dead Man's Pass and I-84 out into the Blues, they're getting snow out there today. They'll get some more snow tonight, tomorrow morning. Right now, I-84 looks pretty good in the Blues, but that could be uh, that could be changing. That could be changing. So check those road conditions tomorrow morning as well. Okay, so our seven-day. We have the rainy night. 
Winds, by the way, are southeast to east. So they're breezy out there right now. I think overnight, much of the I-5 corridor could see some south to southeast winds between 15 and 30. And in East County, we could have a spurt of some 40 mile per hour gusts coming out of the gorge. The front passes, so by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, the winds veer to the west behind that front. And tomorrow will be more like a 10 to 20, 10 to 25 mile per hour. Breezy day at times, but, but not con concerning. So I had Portland at 38, or excuse me, at 40. Now I've lowered it to 38. It's certainly possible the parts of the valley gets down to 35, 36. Believe me, I've looked at this because of that potential little cold spell that comes in early in the morning. I wouldn't say it's impossible that some of you that live up in elevation a little bit get some snow in the morning, but generally I expect the flats of the I-5 corridor, Salem, Portland, Vancouver, McMinnville, to stay at 35 degrees or warmer overnight tomorrow morning. Once you get up, especially, you know, above 500 feet, then all bets are kind of off, and maybe you do have some sticking snow with some showery weather in the morning. So just something to watch. The timing of that front has really thrown that up in the air. 48 tomorrow, though, in the afternoon. Pretty active shower day. Saturday still looks great. I think this is a day that potentially is mainly dry with a few showers, 37 to 53. That will be the warmest day we've seen in a while. Winds will be fairly light. And then right now, uh, this is not a guarantee, but it looks like Sunday morning has a good chance of being dry. Then increasing showers in the afternoon. The next front is still coming in Monday. That's a rainy Monday into Monday night, but by Tuesday morning, things are pretty quiet. Showers scattered with some breaks, fewer showers Wednesday, and right now, odds favor that Thursday of next week will be dry. These temperatures are still below seasonal average. Seasonal average now is 56, and by the time we get to next Wednesday, Thursday, it'll be 57. It'll be the normal high, but certainly that's better weather than what we have been seeing, okay? All right, so that's your update. The big thing is if you're traveling in the mountains tomorrow morning, check conditions both over the coast range to be sure, certainly over the Cascades. You know it's going to be snow cover, but check conditions anyway. Um, I did want to talk about the gorge real quick. Right now, temperatures along 84 in the gorge are generally projected to be anywhere between 32 and 35. So there potentially could be some icy spots on 84. Check those conditions in the morning as well. And that is your update for now. Um, have yourself a good night. We'll enjoy the rain and the wind tonight. Might wake you up, and then we'll enjoy once, especially we get by tomorrow, we get into some warmer temperatures. That'll feel good, right? All right, I'll talk to you soon. Please hit subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you.